Hello and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain and I am your guide to wisdom. Thank you for joining us for our seven day a week, seven minutes of wisdom podcast. By consuming these daily nuggets, the principles will help you in your quest to become healthy, wealthy and wise as we trek through life together. This is day 45 of our trek and for the next few days we will continue on our trek to look how changing our thinking can dramatically change our lives. We're recording our podcast from our studios at Home 2 today in Charlotte, North Carolina. The client workload and the activities should be consistently busy this week. It is a good week to spend indoors, though. During the day, the temperatures are anticipated to be above 95 degrees for the next two weeks in North Carolina. It has certainly been a very warm summer for us here. We are continuing our several-day trek where we will stop by the 12 waypoints or rest stops along our trail. When hiking long distances, as our life trek is... It is always good to plan in advance where your rest stops or waypoints will be. This will help you to measure your progress and make sure that you do not get off the trail. At each waypoint along our trek this week, it will give us an occasion to reflect on how we think and provide an opportunity to change how we think. By changing our thinking, these waypoints will allow us to change our lives in a positive way. Yesterday, we reflected on the first waypoint, which was cultivating big picture thinking. It followed two days where we looked at the science and the results of big picture thinking. If you missed any of these past three days of podcasts, please go back and listen to them or read the daily journal entries. This will give you the foundation for this week's trek. As we ended the podcast yesterday, I asked you to reflect on a question. Am I thinking beyond myself and my world so that I process ideas in a holistic perspective? Did you take time to think how you would answer that question? To grow in wisdom each day, we should ask ourselves the difficult questions that cause us to reflect on our lives so that we can expand our world. It is then we will have the capability to impact others to a greater capacity. We must grow ourselves before we can ever hope to help others to grow. Well, it's time to break camp now and head toward our next waypoint or rest stop. As we head down the trail today, let's focus on what we learn at each stop and think creatively on how it will help us to live abundantly in all areas as we are creating a living legacy. Wise and successful people practice certain thinking habits, and in order for you to become wise and successful, these same thinking habits need to be entrenched into your mind. So our waypoint number two, engage in focused thinking. Focused thinking allows us to clearly think about a problem. This skill helps us to direct energy towards specific objectives, bring more clarity to issues, and take ideas to the next level. When engaging in focused thinking, you should select challenges or areas that will most likely have the greatest impact. Here are five of the ways that you can improve your focused thinking. First, eliminate distraction to focus on areas that will provide you a greater impact. Number two, devote time for focused thinking. Although multitasking is a popular word in today's world, it is really not conducive to focused thinking. New evidence has shown that we really cannot multitask. And for most people, work on a multiple task at a time is really counterproductive. Number three, keep items of focus in view. You must concentrate on things that matter. You must keep the most important items of focus in front of you. Number four, set milestones. When you set clear objectives, it is easy for our mind to focus. And number five, question your progress. Periodically monitor whether you have made progress. Progress is the best measure of whether your focus thinking is working well. As you gain wisdom and experience, the need of focused thinking becomes more crucial. The more you grow, the more focused you can be, and you need to be. So the first question for today is, am I dedicated to removing distractions and mental clutter so that I can concentrate with clarity on the real issues? Waypoint number three, harness creative thinking. Creative thinking is an important part of how wise and successful individuals think, but we find few people that truly possess this skill. To be a creative thinker, you need to value ideas, enjoy exploring options, embrace uncertainty, celebrate the unconventional, connect what seemingly is unconnected, and do not fear failure. Creative thinking is valuable because it results in a large number of ideas to consider. To adopt creative thinking, you need to be seeking new ideas and to learn more. Here are five ways to stimulate your creativity. Number one, avoid spending too much time with creativity killers. Creativity killers are those people who are comfortable with the status quo and do not embrace new ideas. When you have a great idea, you must not let anyone dissuade you. Number two, ask the right questions. If you're going to think creatively and challenge the status quo, it is necessary that you ask good questions. Number three, 
Develop a creative environment for yourself. Negative environments destroy great ideas. Creative environments are like greenhouses where your great ideas are cultivated. Focus on innovation and allow yourself to dream. Number four, spend time with other creative people. One way to counteract negative environments is to spend time with creative people. Creativity tends to be contagious. Spend time with those that help bring the best out in you. And number five, get out of your box. It is easy to get stuck in the same routines. One of the best ways to avoid this is to seek out new paradigms through travel or reading or research about new subjects. Our second question for today is, Am I working to break out of my box, exploring ideas and options so that I can experience a creative breakthrough? When reflecting on these two waypoints for today, focus and creativity, we see how proper thinking provides a person with wisdom and ability. This brings to mind when Moses was planning on the construction of the tabernacle. He needed to select people that were both focused and creative in their thinking. In the passage from Exodus chapter 35, verse 25 says, All the women who were skilled in sewing and spinning prepared blue, purple, and scarlet thread and fine linen cloth. And also in verse 31, it says, The Lord has filled Bezalel with the Spirit of God, giving him great wisdom, ability, and expertise in all kinds of crafts. Both these groups of people were very creative and very focused. The entire 35th chapter of Exodus is a very interesting read, and I would highly recommend it. Think about the two questions that were asked today. Reflect on them. This is an important step in changing your thinking and changing your mind. And as your guide, friend, mentor, and fellow sojourner, let me know how I can help you to become a better thinker, leader, and mentor to your tribe. Well, that'll finish our podcast for today. If you've missed any of the previous podcasts, especially the last three days, which were the foundation for today, please check out Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Stitcher, SoundCloud, or at wisdom-trek.com. Tomorrow we will continue our trek about thinking and we will explore more waypoints about changing our thinking that can literally change our lives. So please join us at our camp tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. And as always, if you enjoy these daily doses of wisdom, these nuggets that we consume each day, I encourage you to help us in the following four ways. Please leave us feedback about the podcast at wisdom-trek.com. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe at iTunes or Stitcher so the podcast can be downloaded to you automatically each day. Number three, if you've previously left us a rating at iTunes and Stitcher, I really appreciate that. But if you haven't, this is really important so that we can gain exposure on these platforms and spread the word about Wisdom Trek. And number four, I would really appreciate it if you spread the word to everyone you know to join us on our Wisdom Trek. Thank you for allowing me to serve you in this manner. I count it a privilege to come to you each day. The journal for this podcast can be found at wisdom-trek.com where we also have pictures, tweetable quotes, wisdom nuggets, and some free resources. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly or fully, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy the journey, and create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.